G'day guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com where we look at men's boots and apparel that's built to last. I'm in New Jersey with JD Sasso from Instagram looking at his 30 strong collection of Alden boots. JD, how's it going? Good to see you, my man. Thank you for having us. Doing well, how are you? Uh, well, I'm very well. I'm in a kind of a state of awe at this unbelievable collection. Alden boots. Now, what went wrong in your life that you just decided to <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to do a deeper dive on Alden shoes and you were obviously the first guy I, uh, I thought of. JD has a very good Instagram, which is very Alden strong because you just, you just landed on this brand as like the brand for this you. This was it. How did you, how did it happen? What is your story of landing on Alden as like the preeminent, the best shoe and boot brand for your feet? Because he also has a lot of shoes. We're just doing boots here as well. There's like a half dozen more than that shoes in the corner over there as well. We're just talking about boots right now. How did it happen? Everything relates back to childhood trauma, right? <laughs> childhood trauma that I had was that I inherited extremely fat, flat feet mm. from my father. So at 12 years old, I had to start wearing custom orthotics. So since the day I was 12, my feet ache every single day. So got custom orthotics. When I got into my 20s and 30s, I just kind of stopped wearing them. I thought, I don't need these anymore, right? So. I injured my ankle a couple times, both ankles, I seem to have weak ankles, and from the lack of wearing orthotics, I developed tendonitis. Go to the foot doctor, I had tendonitis in my ankle, just killing. He's like, number one, you gotta wear your orthotics. Number two, you have to start wearing better shoes. Not these junky shoes that have a brand name on them that are made like crap and that are gonna not last. You have to buy a good boot. Why don't you go look at Alden or Allen Edmonds or something like that? So my podiatrist sent me in that direction. I had known the brand, but I had never ventured into the territory. So that's how the Alden story started. Okay. Because Alden, the company, they have like a history of making like orthopedic footwear, yeah. right? Like like the, medical footwear. Like that's that's how, because the, com the company was founded in the 1880s, I believe. Yeah, 1884. Uh-huh. And at some point in the history, they were like, we're going to make boots for people with, with foot problems. We're yeah. Make the most foot-shaped boot we can make. Is yeah, that basically but it? I think the story is before modern um, medicine and inventions, if you had severe foot problems, you had to wear an orthopedic shoe, a specially fitted orthopedic shoe. And that's what they focused on. So the indie boot, is actually on the True Balance glass, which is, which is an orthopedic glass. You know, if you go to old time shoe stores who actually know what they're doing, they will show you how this boot is made for foots that have a certain pronation. It has extended counters, high counters. It has a wide toe box. So this was made for people with foot problems. Most people will tell you when they put on the indie boot, they can't believe how comfortable it is. It's not a fashion boot by any means. This is like a boot that's 70 years old. They made it, I think in the forties or fifties. Well, no, they would have made it well before 1936, which is the first Indiana Jones movie <laughs> setting. For those that don't know, I should have opened the video with this. This is the very boot that Indiana Jones wears in all of his movies. Uh, you can see it in many of the shots, especially when he's like uh, walking around the temple at the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark, and he's like trying to avoid stepping on the stones that will shoot darts at him. You get nice close shots exactly. of the Indy themselves. Uh, so I guess that he had some uh, some foot issues, uh, and that's why he, he was did. Yeah, that, the story was he he was a carpenter, right? And he wanted this is what he wore on the job every day for comfort. And Harrison the, Ford, that is Harrison Ford. The studio execs wanted him to wear a Red Wing. Really? Yeah. And he said, "I'm wearing my Aldens. Sorry, scuff them up, make them look old, but this is it. The 405. That's the that's the original Indy. That's fantastic. Okay, so uh, we know why you went into Alden. You know why it works on your janky feet." We've talked about Indiana Jones. What? Now, a normal person, their story would end there, so I got myself a pair of Aldens. You decide to get 30 pairs of Aldens, and this isn't even all the Aldens he's ever had. He's constantly like selling ones that he gets tired of. JD, why so many Aldens? Why, why I, collecting them? I, I don't know if I can really answer that. I've always loved shoes. I used to take a lot of trips to Italy and, and come back with a lot of Italian shoes, so I had a good collection of, of Italian shoes for a while. Always loved shoes. Maybe it's the Italian heritage in me. But what I think what really got me was the comfort. So just being able to put on a pair of boots and walk around. So I did a lot of walking, working in Manhattan, just to be able to walk around and not be in pain. It's almost like priceless, right? So anybody who has pain will tell you, I'll do whatever I have to do to ease the pain. So just being able to put my foot, put my foot in something where I could take steps and not have to feel those burning sensations. Mm. 
That's yes. what's kind of got me. But, but that's a good reason to get two pairs of yeah, boots. Yeah, one or two pairs. If you look at an Alden boot, this is a this is a wingtip boot. To me, it's the most perfectly balanced boot. So everybody makes a wingtip boot, right? But I think the proportions of Alden are just beautiful. The length of the vamp and just how they cut the, the sizes for the vamp. Yeah, there we go. They make it very easy to keep buying because of the custom program. Yes, right. that's right. Customers can customize Alden's as well. Exactly. Right? So most of what you see on the table here are not standard Alden models that you'll see in a catalog. If you pick up the Alden catalog, you'll see this one. You'll see this one. You'll see, I think, this here, this wingtip and shell cordovan, and maybe the black one. But the rest are, are special makeups. Retailers with good imaginations or customers who have good imaginations like this one, I designed with a, a retailer in, in Seattle. This is called the Sasso boot. So this had never been made before. This is scotch green on a plaza last with a split toe. The possibilities are almost endless. Makes it difficult to not keep your eye on the inventory and purchase new models. Very cool. All right, now as a man who has more experience with Alden than perhaps anyone else in the world, and because the internet runs on the word best, tell me, what are the best Alden boots? Subjective, but I'll pick five. Okay. I'll pick five from here that are uh, pretty easily attainable. Yeah. Okay. Because some of these have been made once and never again. So let's look at what's attainable. This right here is Color H Shell Cordovan, Norwegian Split Toe, Commando Sole. So nice in the winter, in, in the Northeast weather, extremely durable Color H Cordovan. All the Madison runs this. Some other people run it too. Right. But and it's, it's become more ubiquitous these days. And for those not in the know, Cordovan is made from a membrane of skin at the base of a horse's tail. Out of a whole horse, you get like maybe like this much of it. It's like two shells. It's unbelievably expensive, but it is, uh, it lasts a really long time. I did, I did a video on this with Carmina. I'll like put it up there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's very durable. It keeps it shine forever. And if you're going to get secondhand shoes, uh, you know, you can you can get secondhand cordovan and it looks like it does on day one most of the time in the last row. Cordovan, you just brush it up. You don't even need polish. People put polish on and it does more harm than good. Just brush it up mm -hmm. and it comes like it's new. What do you think of the split toe style as well? I, it, I just got my first split toe boots. I, I love the split toe. I have a couple boots and a couple shoes off to the side there, but I love it. I think it's a beautiful, I mean, it's, they're hand sewn. The issue is if you like it too much, it can be a problem because Alden is known for being notoriously slow in getting them into production because I think they have like two or three women there who do all the hand sewing. And you can only do, I think, I don't know the exact number, it's maybe 15 pair a day, something like that. So if you put a boot into production and it's hand sewn, it takes a long time to get made. All right, that was number five. Yeah, let's let's look at this one. This is um, pretty easy to get. This is black shell cordovan, wingtip boot. You can definitely dress it up. This one has a double leather sole, so it's nice for, for formal wear if you want to wear it to work. It's also like more flexible and like softer than like yeah. the average like rubber soles, right? Yeah, it's very nice, very thick, so they're, they're long lasting. I wasn't a black boot fan for a long time, but I've, I've recently come around. So this is very versatile. I actually just got my first pair of rogi wingtip shoes and they are from Alden as well. Are wingtips casual or dressy? I think by nature they're more casual. Okay. Because I think the, you know, the history of why there are brogues on here. Because they're hunting boots. Yeah, hunting boots. Yeah, so by their make, they're more casual. But yeah. I think they seem to become more dressy somehow in our society. Yeah, that's true. The broguing is like an old fashioned way of like sort of making it a bit more water resistant because yeah. like the, the holes help to drain water exactly. or something like that. Yeah, so it was like the, that was what old fashioned country boots used to be made from. All right, that's number four, number three. Yeah, those, those are two great shell cordovan models. This is a model put out by, exclusively by LeFaux mm -hmm. in Manhattan. Yeah. How are you doing, Stephen? I asked Stephen for a long time to redo this boot. I think the last time they had made it was around 2011 or 12 and I couldn't get my hands on one. They sold out really quickly. So I, I begged them and begged them and Steven decided to rerun it again. So if there's a lot of interest, maybe he'll keep doing that. But I, I know it's a rugged boot and a water resistant boot with a nice wingtip pattern. This is a reverse tobacco chamois. So it's got the commando sole. It's got the water resistant chamois. It's just a really great looking rugged boot. Now chamois is chamois leather, which is split sheep leather. So yeah. it's, it's like sheep suede, right? I don't know if it's sheep for sure, but... Chamois is. I mean, uh, uh, historically, I actually just got some chamois uh, olden boots myself, and then my first chamois boots. Chamois, it, it's, a, it's like a goaty antelope type thing from Europe, and it, so it, that used to be what chamois leather was, and these days, almost all chamois is sheep. Yeah. And it's, and I, and it's split, so it's... Uh, I don't know if that makes it like 
technically suede or not, but it's a split leather. Yeah. It looks like suede, but it is, but it's, it's not suede. It comes from a sheep and it's like more hard wearing than suede, I understand. Yeah, this is very hard wearing. Mm. Okay, so that's three. Can't go wrong with Indie Boot in Chrome, Chrome XL. XL. <laughs> I was trying to think of the color, but there's no color. They, they just call it's, it's, brown. it's brown Chrome it's brown XL. Brown Chrome XL. Yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a, like some like undercurrents of red there to, yeah. to make it a bit more versatile. But yeah, this is this is Chrome. I have this boot myself. Yeah. Um, and this is the camp miss, right? Yeah, you, you can't miss with this one. This has got the nice uh, like contrast stitching here on the mark. This is actually easier to get than the original indie boot. This, this is considered like the indie boot that Indiana Jones wore. Um, but what he actually wore wasn't Chrome XL. It was Calf skin, yeah, and that is your yeah. This the, is my number. That's one the number boot. boot. All right, let's 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 take a look at this boot. So, Why is this the best olden boot? To me, it's about comfort. So, the way these indie boots have this curved Thomas heel, mm -hmm. the way it gives extra support to to the inside of your arches. I mean, that's exactly what I need. So you put this boot on it. It's extremely comfortable. It's got a nice wide toe box. It's got these Neo Cork soles, which I mean, these boots are pretty used. So you can see there's a lot of there's not a lot of wear on, on those soles, so it's a very long-lasting sole. It's and the, not a great winter sole, like an ice sole, but it's good for most everyday wear. And the Indie boot is, uh, unlike many olden boots, like the, the Indie boot is on the True Balance last, which is wider at the at the forefoot, which exactly. many people find more comfortable, even if they don't have foot problems. Exactly. But everything you just said is the same with the Chrome XL version. Why do you like this leather better? The only issue I have with Chrome XL, and you can see if you put them together, see how the Chrome XL has gotten very wrinkly mm -hmm. and almost stretched out? Yeah. It's comfortable, but I don't like the way it wears as much as the, the regular 405 leather. That's fair that's enough. That's my only issue. No, that's, that's a really good point. This does look a lot better. This is my first time handling the 405 in person, and uh, from even before I came here, from the stuff I've seen online, yeah, the calfskin ones really, uh, they, they just they just age better. Yeah. Um, very cool. And I understand calf has like more tensile strength than uh, cowhide as well, doesn't it? Because like the fibers are closer together. That, that's a good point. I don't know. Mm. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Many consider it more unethical than grown up cow, but that's uh, up to you to make a decision on. But uh, if you're looking at the two of these boots, yeah, there it is. This is. You can't go wrong with either one. Right? You can't go wrong with either one. The, the Chrome XL one's easier to find, to be fair. Uh, but if you can get your hands on the Kafka one, this is the Indiana Jones boot, uh, and it ages a bit better as well. So uh, that's your ultimate guide to so, all yeah. the boots. If you like the Aldens, I definitely say build a relationship with retailers. It's all about building those relationships. It's not a pay-to-play game per se, where you have to go out and buy tons of stock miles to get invited to some of the rare offerings. But you got to have those relationships. So I would encourage people, if they like the all-ins, just build the relationships. All right, I love it. Thanks for having us in your home and introducing us to your amazing collection. I'm glad you came by. It was good to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, follow I'm glad to see you showed up with all of them. I, I did. I did indeed. I should have been standing like this the, the entire... <laughs> The entire video. Uh, follow JD on Instagram. He's Mr. Alden. I mean, his handle is JD Sasso. I would call him Mr. Alden. He is just the the, the Alden Central of Instagram. Uh, and subscribe here as well if you just went up here because we got plenty more videos about boots and heritage apparel and stuff coming up. Keep doing what you're doing. Love love your channel. Thanks, man. Thanks. Keep doing it. <laughs> See you, everybody.